This is the RAP 3172 module for LoRa and LoRa 1. This is based on STM32WL and we will measure the slip current of this device. To do that, we need to make a UART connection and using RackDAP1, we can connect it to the computer and use this as a USB to serial converter. After connecting to the PC, we can upload the RUY3 firmware that we will use to measure the slip current. After uploading the RUY3 custom firmware, we can now connect it to Power Profiler Kit from Nordic Semiconductor and measure the slip current. We will connect this to the computer by USB connection and let's see some graph. The Nordic Power Profiler Kit is now connected to the computer and this is the Power Profiler software. We will power the Rack 3172 with 3.3 volts. It has the custom RUI3 firmware that we will use to test the slip current. So let's try to run this. Let's press start. As you see, we will have the initial current here. And then this portion will be the slip current. We will wait for the other spike, which will create an LED to turn on. So there is an interval. It's around 10 seconds that the device will slip. So we will stop this and check the slip current during this period. So let's see. So right now, the slip current here in this section is 1.65 microampere. Now let's try to change the voltage to 2.6 and see what will be the slip current. Let's run it again. So now we have the initial spike and then we can check the slip current here. We will stop and then check the slip current. Then the slip current is 1.44 microampere. As you see, as we lower the voltage, you will have a lower slip current. So this is the feature in the RUI3 firmware that you can have a very low slip current, which is very ideal on battery-powered, low-power IoT devices.